All right, so welcome Libra to my Judah Priestess channel. Today we're going to be doing your July reading for the 9th to the 21st of uh, July. I don't know why it said April. April could have been a significant month for you. Um, I'm also getting the initials R, M, B, and L, okay? However, stay tuned because in the end, I will be using initials here. You could be dealing with a Cancer Taurus. All right, my love, let's see what spirit is guiding me to use for you here. Let me actually go with this card just to check your overall energy. Please remember, this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising or Cross Watcher. All right, what's going on here for Libra spirit the month of July? regeneration beautiful energy guys beautiful so i see that there's someone here that has really um regenerate regenerated you i feel like a lot of you guys are coming up resurrecting from a time you're you're looking very poised i feel like you're happy at this time you're co-creating with spirit so you could be feeling very aligned um Maybe back then you were feeling confused, like you were stepping in two worlds, the 5D and the 3D, and you had to do some cleanup of energy. Uh, but I feel like you're learning now more how to be in the present, which is excellent. So with this regeneration, you either, you or someone that you're dealing with here wants to um, build something again. Okay, start over, regenerate this. I feel like there has been some sort of transformation, purification, enlightenment, um, you could be dealing with a fire sign here or an Aquarius, because I'm seeing star, or an earth sign actually here too. But yeah, let's let's get more into the T here. Clarify regeneration. What's this about? Beautiful. We have Leo coming up strongly here. Okay, I'm hearing you're gonna be the center of attention this month, uh, Libra. Okay, there's something that's coming illuminated, and this could be you literally coming out of a dark time like i told you okay someone here is literally rising like a phoenix coming out of a dark time a dark place and finally something is illuminated here there you're gonna feel very very happy very successful i feel like you know um you're gonna feel yeah like things are working out in your favor the sun is the happiest like like hard and tarot so guys like whatever this regeneration is it's gonna there's a glow about you as you're coming up out of this okay this transformation has allowed you to see a glow it's it there's something illuminated after a period here of darkness look at this the sun is coming out after the moon so after all this period of nighttime the sun is coming out the day okay um I'm hearing judgment to it. So if you're dealing with some people that are dealing with karma right now. With the moon card, cancer energy, it's like you guys are letting go of fear. Okay? Point blank period. Um, I'm also feeling like someone here really wants to work something out with you. You are their happiness. But I feel like there were some secrets or fears that were holding you or this person back. Okay? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting here feminine and masculine energy. So you could really be balancing your yin and your yang, your higher conscious and your lower consciousness. However, I also see here like you could really be dealing with a soulmate twin flame connection here. You know, yin yang kind of thing. Because if you notice, the sun is in the moon card as well. It's like half half. So this person feels like you're their sun. They're the sun and you're the moon or you're the moon and they're the sun. This is some kind of energy I'm getting here. But someone's looking to get us some sort of second chance or rebuild something. Someone's looking to rebuild something. Or maybe you are just rebuilding yourself. You know, we're not always looking for love, right? Sometimes it's self-love here. Something might also be coming into light, guys, and this might just change you. This could be the secret that you've been looking to illuminate or some truth that you've been looking to illuminate you. Okay, what's going on here for Libra? So I'm rising. 
Yeah, I told you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Here comes the star, okay? I'm hearing after a period of darkness. I told you, it's been raining for a lot of you guys. It's felt like it's been raining. It's been cloudy. Um, it's been a lot of mystery things going on behind the scenes that maybe you didn't know about that will be illuminated. This could be breaking your heart for a lot of you guys, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's supposed to make you a star. You guys, some of you here are literally meant to shine, guys. Okay, Libra, you're literally meant to shine and be exposed. I feel like you're coming out of something. You're coming out of the, that allegory of the cave. You're coming out of the cave to finally show who you are, your true authentic self. You've done a lot of healing. The Aquarius speaks about healing, okay? So it's like you're an innovator. You're very authentic. You're healing from a broken heart. And you're coming up now strong and happy and um, still very mysterious at the same time. But it's like... There, you're you're coming up more positive on here, more strong. Nine of Cups, more fulfilled within yourself. Okay. There are new financial opportunities coming towards you, so expect that to improve. With the Nine of Cups and the Star Libra, I'm getting like you guys are going to be very happy about something in this month of July. There is a wish fulfillment coming through let's say maybe you've been wanting a second chance with someone or to fix something or rebuild something that's coming up for you if you've been trying to get out of a dark situation that's coming up for you if you guys have been doing a lot of self-work here fulfilling your own cup you are going to heal from this broken heart for some of you you could have been dealing in a third party situation you found out some secret whatever it was it broke your heart um, we also do have the stars, the moon, and the sun. So this is like you have it all. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Someone sees you as the moon, the sun, and the stars. Like you are their whole entire wish fulfillment. And I feel like you guys are in separation right now. Um, or there could be a third party involved. Whatever it is, this person misses you. Clarify this three of swords. Four of Wands. It could have been a marriage here that um, somebody separated, like got a divorce with the Four of Wands. I also feel like this person feels like you're their home, so they miss you. With that 11-11, definitely you're dealing with a twin flame for many of you here. Okay, you could be seeing 11-11. That's a sign that a certain wish of yours is coming true. Okay, it's like whatever broken heart you felt, whatever pain, so much is being healed. Like... Let's say you miss somebody and you wish that they come back. Like, you're going to see what all these secrets, like, why all things didn't work out. Because things are going to work out in your favor now. This person chooses you if there was another person here. Like, somebody has heard that maybe, you know, they proposed to you and it didn't work out at the time. Like, maybe somebody, like, literally didn't make it to the altar for some of you. Some of you were literally about to get married. And then you found out a secret. Yeah, justice card, Libra. This is you. This could have literally been you. You're getting justice here. You could have been dealing with a Leo. You're getting justice. For others, someone literally sees you as marriage, like as a marriage material. I'm also picking up here, though, that there is a divorce. Someone's getting a divorce with the Justice, Three of Swords, and Four of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. This could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone's not happy. Someone's not happy about this marriage that they've invested. Look at that. The Taurus. Uh, higher fan. Yeah. Someone's not happy about a certain marriage with a Queen of Pentacles here. Though I feel like you're coming up very abundant. And um, you're very independent. And you shine bright like a diamond, okay? You shine bright anywhere you go, like in the nighttime, in the day. I feel like this person really feels like there's something here that was written in the stars about you. They really do want to settle down with you. With the Justice, Queen of Wands, and Pentacles, it's like this person wants to give you an opportunity uh, or they want an opportunity with you, okay? I feel like whatever this opportunity they give you, like you would really know how to nurture and love and create more abundance with it. I'm also seeing your business. If you have like a home business or something like that, like that's improving for you. It's also I'm getting here. So much.
such beautiful energy, by the way, guys. I'm very happy for you because I know, like, with that regeneration, like, you went through so much dark shit, you know, but the rainbow's coming out, okay? Clarify this Ace of Cups. I mean, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I told you, you guys are dealing with a divine counterpart, okay? Twin flame here. It's queen, pentacles, and uh, king of pentacles. So you and this person are, like, both hustlers, right? You're both uh, very ambitious individuals. You're at least coming out like you're both focused on your money, on stability, on building something. So you are seeing, there's someone that you're seeing as marriage material, and I feel like this person sees you this way as well. Um... With that King of Cups, it's like this person really loves you or you love them. Ooh, the Emperor. Someone really does. Someone could be married but wanting to marry you. But I also see someone wants to marry you here. Aries energy. This is your Divine Masculine. They're strategizing. They're, they're coming very soon, okay? Communication, I'm hearing, is coming. With this regeneration, you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? I feel like this person needed to have some time apart to be alone, to truly see this illumination, to truly see how successful this could be. They really had to move away from things that were not making them happy, or you, you had to move away from what wasn't making you happy. Tell me about this King and Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's really looking at you like they can settle down with you, they really want to build a family with you okay they want to build a family with you but there's that three of swords this person could literally be married and you're like secretly seeing this person that's for very few of you someone could be dealing with a court issue as well right now child custody i'm here in broken home Okay, clarify this four of wands with this. Yeah, Hierophant. This person could be married, getting a divorce, but I'm also getting, this person like, wants to marry you, point blank, period. This person like didn't believe in marriage or was non-committal. They were just in and out, kind of like, you know, um, like having sex and stuff like that. But now they know like that you have a very strong pull to them. With the lovers, that's Gemini energy. So this person wants to have a commitment with you. They could already be married, let's say, or have a family with someone else, but they want to build one with you. They see long-term with you. This person, like, knows that this is your divine counterpart. And it is, because there's an angel in between you both. Your angels have been guiding you both to one another, okay? I'm also hearing, this has been written in the stars, guys. This love has been written in the stars. Whatever, like, you wish for, this person wished for, too. Like, you both balance each other out, and... You're both each other's wish fulfillment, so I do see this person coming towards you. They've matured here, coming out as the Emperor and that King of Cups. I feel like there could have been something affecting this connection, though, here. Uh, could have been cultural backgrounds or maybe ethical, ethnical or religious backgrounds here, something like that. Family issues, okay? It's like you guys are meant to build a legacy together with this person, with this tent of... I'm seeing so much money here. Like, I'm seeing so much money here, guys. <laughs> With the six of wands. Yeah, you guys are meant to have success. Literally, some of you guys are literally meant to shine and be exposed. Like I said, shine bright like a diamond. Some of you guys could literally be in the public eye or soon to be in the public eye. Or, like, you and this person have a big mission here, right? To heal the world as twin flames, but also um, make it public, I'm hearing. There's some sort of victory this person wants with you, and you're both going to have it, okay? Ooh, I'm also getting there. You could have some secret competitors, okay? There's some people that are secretly competing with you. If this person has to make a decision about you, okay? Like, I feel like, you know, you're going to coming out on top. If this is working out in your favor, this person, like, is obviously choosing you since you're coming out as the star, yeah, because there is a third-party situation here. 
could be a work lover. I just heard a work lover. Um, but yeah, this person's seeing like they can settle down with you, build a family with you, like very long term, you know. Yeah, this person could literally already be married. To a Scorpio, we have the death card transformation. This is that regeneration again. There is a transformation in this connection going on. Someone has either ended a marriage or divorce to come to you. What is ending here with this death? This could have been with this hierophant, like old beliefs. This person is, is ready to end old beliefs and come towards the empress. I told you, you're dealing with a divine counterpart. You could actually be dealing with a Leo because I did do their reading. And in their reading, their person knew that, you, you know, that they were soulmates. So you could already know that the person you like or love is your soulmate or vice versa. Okay, we have Capricorn energy here, the devil. A lot of major arcanas, a lot of major changes. Something is really coming here that's going to shock you. This could have been... Um, this person not telling you their true emotions might just really shock you. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you, though. I feel like somebody was manipulating your person, okay? This this person was being manipulated, but that has ended. That has ended. Yeah, definitely. Something has ended. This person is ready to start from zero and leave behind whatever the fuck they gotta leave behind. Leo energy strength. Okay, it's like you have a strong pull on them. So definitely there goes that infinity sign again. I'm hearing soulmates. Tell me about this love. What is this regeneration for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? Yeah, and I feel like since we have Sun, Moon, Rising here, I feel like this is going to resonate with a lot of Leo. Okay, look at that, guys. Can you see this? It says soulmates. I told you. I kept hearing soulmates, soulmates, soulmates. Okay, this is your soulmate, Libra. If you have been questioning, yes, the universe is saying this is your soulmate. Look at this. You guys are meant to build a family together. Okay, have be married. This is your divine counterpart. This is why it hurts you to be apart. So there is a fresh start for you both. Okay, that's the regeneration. Abundance is coming to you. I told you I saw a lot of money. So keep a positive mindset because you're manifesting exactly what you wanted. Money, love, all that. Success too. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of... Some of you could literally get some sort of generational wealth here. A lot of money. There's so much. Guys, you're both... Oh my gosh. You're literally both meant to build like an empire. Like some Jay-Z, Beyonce money here. Whoever this message is for, okay? Maybe this person wasn't ready, so they feel like they, they wasted time. What is this Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. Telling me I need you in my life. Every time I try to go, something keeps telling me that, me that. Yeah, you're this person's king and like, you know, you're this, you're, you're meant to be kings together. You're meant to literally build an empire. It's a, like a power couple type shit. You're supposed to literally make a change in this world. I know that sounds insane for some of you guys. So this person is being strategic right now, okay? Um, perhaps been, been, uh, before they were kind of trying to figure out their options, but now they're ready to take a chance. They're ready to take a risk with this fool. Oh, yeah. I feel like this person is hurt because they were gambling with your heart. And they were not showing you their true emotions. Twin flames came up. So, yeah, you're dealing with a twin flame here. Not everyone. It's going to resonate with this, but whoever this is for. 
cassette, okay? Outdated thinking. That's the Hierophant. Somebody here literally has some outdated old conditioning, um, childhood wounds, or the way that they thought that love was or marriage was or, you know, people were meant to be. Because, you know, like maybe this person is very traditional, right? That's what I'm getting. That's what the word I was looking for. Very traditional. And so that old conditioning kept replaying over their head. And that was the fear. That was the moon. The karmic, okay? This was like this person was married or with someone else. And they felt like maybe because they had a child or something like that. They had a family. They made a vow, a commitment with God and them that, you know, this person didn't want to um, break a vow or get a divorce or leave this child. But it's on it's undeniable that this is a twin flame connection though, that you are the yin to the yang, that you guys do complement one another, even in the hustle, even in the way that you think, the way that you are. You're very different, but you mirror one another. Okay? It's like you mirror one another. You're exactly the exact same person, which is what a twin flame is. And I felt like, you know, this person was very much triggered by the karmic, but this person let him go. With that death card, I feel like they let him go. And with the regeneration, they're definitely breaking away. And the coffin here, somebody is ending this old conditioning and beliefs. And they're taking this chance on this love. I'm also seeing wedding rings here. I told you guys, this person wants to marry you. I see wedding, okay? This person wants to keep this promise with you. And they're ready to get uh, let go of whatever other relationship they're with. Definitely seeing heavy Scorpio here. It's like you've transformed this person. They've grown up a lot. Um, yeah, they cut off and broke it off or whatever this person was. And even if they broke up with you in the past or vice versa, the silent treatment is what changed this person, okay? The runner. They're tired of running, guys. They're tired of running. They know that they love you. Let's stop playing now. Let's see what love messages want to come through for Libra. We have available. I'm ready to start my life with you. I told you, this person made themselves available now. They caught up whoever they had to cut off, okay? Whether it was a divorce or another higher level commitment, this person is available. And they want to start things with you. Right? They want to start with zero from with you, okay? No manipulations, no addictions, all that is gone. Feels. The way you make me feel is something I've never felt before. I'm hearing that Michael Jackson song. The way you make me feel, you really turn me on. You got me deep in my secret, baby. Lust. Close the door and take off your clothes. This person is really in their feels. And we have Horny uh, coming up again with Twin Flame to confirm that this is a Twin Flame. This person is very attracted to you. They're thinking about you physically, emotionally, right? Um, like I said, this person never felt like this before. So even though they were married, they never really felt what a divine counterpart is. Such an intense connection that, uh, you know, where it's more deeper. You have to heal. You have to mirror, self-reflect about all the bad things that happened to you in your life or why you were afraid to commit. You know, that this person, I'm seeing them ask themselves all the questions as to why they would run away as to why they let these old conditioning stop them from really allowing this soulmate connection to inflame that was really felt. I just want to stand here and look at you, though. This person, like, can't stop staring at you. You look good. <laughs> they see a future with you, and they want to grow old with you. Shook, okay? I woke up one day and realized I'm madly in love with you. So this person is scared. Like I said, they are scared because something has been revealed. And it's like that. They know that they want a second chance with you. They know that they're madly in love with you. And they know that you fulfill them like in so many ways. You drive them crazy. You guys can literally be in the public eye or something. And this person is watching you to your channel or whatever you do. Scared. Okay, I never told you that I love you, but I do. And it scares me. So this person is with, with the moon. Completely scared to tell you that they loved you, okay? And I feel like they do regret holding back and not telling you and running away from the connection. It's like, why do that when I actually felt, you know, a very intense connection? Actually, let me give you one advice here, Libra. 
Okay. We have exchange of gifts. So there could definitely be a proposal, a gift. This person may want to gift you something or just really reciprocate that exact energy that you gave them. Okay, I'm hearing 50-50. But something is going to surprise you no matter what. Um, we have the fates, okay? Um, my, my crown is itchy. So you guys are activating your crown chakra here. You might be getting downwards. Again, with that Aquarius energy, my love, someone knows that they're fated to be with you. And I feel like that fated event that you've been waiting for is coming. And they're watching you. I told you, they're observing you. They're watching you. Why? I told you, they're asking why. Why did I have this fear of coming? Why do I have this fear of letting go? Why do I have this fear of, um, of love, of being nurtured, of settling down with one person, of monogamy, all this stuff, right? And this person now knows as observing you, every time they watch you, they see how kind you are, you know, like how you provide for your community and your people, how you shine bright like a diamond, okay? And they're just like, they find you a mysterious, like, you both meant to, like, you know, um, write a book together, something like that I'm getting. But overall, serendipity, my love. Expect a lot of, like I said, an unexpected gifts and blessings at this time. You're going to feel very blessed. I feel like this person also feels like you just came out of the blue as a blessing from the sky. Initials from their person. We have Z, W, T, N, X. A N T H A F E N G. Okay, we have fate. So something is definitely faded here. We have the word fate twice here, my love. This is faded. Facts. We also have um hen, hev, het, get. Maybe this person is getting you something tan you could have gotten a tan or this person is tanned or you're tanned caramel <laughs> okay we also have the name zan we also have the word wants so this person wants and we have another a okay so take this message as it resonated i hope this message brought you love healing and light libra Thank you for watching Margie the Priestess and stay tuned for my next video guys. Love you. Bye.